After falling agonisingly short against Wasps in round three, Worcester had another of last year's semi-finalists in their sights as they travelled to Loughborough. The first 40 were full of chances, but devoid of scores. And it took until the 44th minute for the deadlock to be broken by a Minori Yamamoto penalty. Shortly afterwards, Loughborough's rolling mall proved as devastatingly effective as ever. And it was Red Rose's hooker, Lark Davies, who came up with the ball, her fifth score of the season. As the clock reached the hour mark, Alicia Washington plucked the ball from the base of a ruck and just took off. The second rower utterly unplayable as the US Eagles soared home to wrestle the lead back for her side. Catherine Ritchie took a moment to award the score, but Warriors celebrations suggest they deemed it well worth the wait. Worcester were in the driver's seat and a bruising offensive set from their forwards was rewarded with just 10 minutes remaining as Laura Keats, making her long-awaited return from an ACL injury, barreled over beneath the posts to extend the visitors' advantage. Ellen Murphy converted and they led 15 points to seven. Lightning dug deep and reached back into their box of tricks to produce a near-identical drive for the line. Worcester couldn't stem the purple tide and yet again, it was Davies who dotted down. The hooker notched a league topping 19 tries last season and has continued that prolific form into this campaign. Fellow England international Helen Rowland added the extras and all of a sudden it was a one point game. Not for long though, Murphy had brought her kicking boots to Loughborough and slotted home a penalty in the dying moments to all but secure Warriors victory. One which was greeted with absolute elation. A significant scalp for Joey Upside, who now sits seventh in the table. For Reese Edwards' squad, a losing bonus point and a chance to regroup ahead of round six's trip to Sandy Park.